Hey guys, and welcome to another video. So in this one, we are going to look at how we can make a simple rope or a cable and also how to simulate physics to make it work like this. So let's jump right in and get started. There are a couple of things we should consider when we want to make ropes and cables in Arial based on whether the simulation and physics are important for you or the graphics and how they look is your main goal, you have to take different approaches to get the result you want. In this video, I'll cover the easiest way to make a rope and simulate physics without using any plugins. And in the next videos, we'll go over a couple of assets and plugins to make more advanced and complicated things. In order to make a simple rope, all you need to do is to type cable here and drag the actor into the scene. You can see that it already has the physics effect and here by selecting the components you can move the end location of your cable. Here you have some settings to play with. For example, let's increase the length and also increase segments to make it look smoother. As you probably have noticed, it's behaving like a bungee jumping band and in order to control that, you can just play with this number here. Let's pop it up and now you can see that it's more stiff and does not stretch anymore. Another important section here is the cable rendering. Here you can play with the width of the cable and make it thinner or thicker. Here you can see that it only has four sides which does not look good and in order to fix that you can just increase the number of sides here in the cable rendering settings. Next, we have tile material which helps us control the tiling of the materials on our rope. Let's assign a material to it and now you see that I can play with the tiling by just changing this number and I don't need to change the tiling in the material itself. Another cool thing we can do is to attach the start and end location to an object. Let's make two cylinders in our level to use them as some kind of a column and then attach our rope to them. Here I'm gonna put the start location on top of my first pillar and then I can choose an object for my end location. Let's select the cylinder and now you can see that it's attached to the object as I wanted. Here we have an offset, so let's put it on zero and now you can see that it's actually connected to the pivot point of the object. If you want to move it somewhere else, for example at the top of the column, you just need to offset it on the Z axis to achieve the exact location you want it to be connected to. The last thing I want to mention here is the collision option. By checking this, it will collide with the other objects in the scene and if you keep it unchecked, it won't and will go through the objects in your level. Alright, now let's go to the next part and make something cool with the cable we made. We want to attach a sphere to the end point of the cable and then make it move when it's hit by our character. Let's drag a sphere into the scene and then assign a material to it to make it look more interesting. Then I'm gonna attach the end point of my cable to the sphere and then put the start point exactly above it. Then let's add a cube here to make it look like a holder and the final thing I need is a constraint physics actor. So here type constraint and drag it into the scene. Let's put it in the middle of the rope and then here let's choose the constraint actors. Actor 1 is the cube and actor 2 is our sphere. Now let's play the game and as you can see it's working perfectly. It's simulating physics very well and that's how easy it is to make a simple drop in Arial. The cable actor works very well and can be used in a lot of projects but it has its own limits and it does not give you complete control over the rope. 
In the next videos, I'll go over a couple of plugins and blueprint assets and show you how you can make more advanced and complicated ropes and cables in Arial. Thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Catch you later.